Hello and welcome to episode 45 of my playthrough of Your Turn to Die. I don't know why I did this early. Um, but, I don't know why I said but. In this, in, in last episode, we uh, we found out that there's going to be monsters on this floor and essentially we have to try to kill the floor master, which is kind of weird because I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to kill floor masters, but apparently we are in this case, which is kind of confusing. Anyways. Whoever kills this floor master, once we kill the floor master, we will finish the sub game, supposedly. Um, but inside the sub game, we have to kill these monsters, and we're linked up with different people. So I'm pretty sure it's linked directly, yeah, like this. So if you see whoever's down here, it's also linked with this person up here. So there's six of us alive, and then there's six of our links, right? And these are who has who together, right? And I am with this guy right here, who's interesting. Anyways. Let us start our first fight. It's a monster. That's right. You're dead. You're dead meat if you can't handle it right away. Got it? Well, oh, that's absurd, punk gorilla. <laughs> punk, <laughs> punk gorilla. So we have gorilla here, and we have punk gorilla here. Um, we can't fight against something like this, wolf. A big gorilla, right? Ah. I didn't mean to double click. Try to see if there was anything else that I missed because I might have skipped the log. It's really hard to do this, only one page. Um, no, we already looked at it. Okay, weird. True, I can't imagine we can do much without ta wait, taking it on fair and square. Then put your wits together. We all think about it. We'll all think about it and pick someone's idea to drive it. So this is a discussion way of defeating a monster. This is very odd. If we discuss it, we might just figure out a weakness. Understood. There must be some sort of way to... There must be some way to repel it. The monster is looking this way. Interesting. Okay, let's start with your idea. Something like this calls for a stocking with my fist, right? I'm a fine... F uh, Fighting if it if it, uh, I'm fine fighting if it uh, I'm fine fighting it if it's got a weapon. Okay, interesting. Why does she have like a thing on the side but she has nothing? Let's search for something to use as a weapon. Okay, interesting. Is this thing supposed to pop up here? Because it pops up for the other two. It's kind of confusing. What should I do? Okay, maybe his is just not like not working right now. Observe situation, save game, let time pass. Let's save game first. This looks like it's gonna be a tricky kind of puzzle game here. Might wanna observe our opponent. Grab its body and give it a hurl. Sniff around to check for stuff now. Okay, so if I click on myself, I can let time pass. I can observe, or I can save game. Might want to observe our opponent. Let's start with that. Let's start with Kaiji. Kaiji looked at the opponent head to toe. Those red areas of its body making a crackling sound. Seems like they're electrified or something. It'd be dangerous to touch. Purple skeletal parts are some kind of armor. Probably okay to touch those. Might have to find a weapon or destroy the armor to, to deal with this one. The monster is seizing up its surroundings. Ugh, what are you looking at? Okay, so I think the best thing to do is to search for something to use as a weapon. But should we trust you to search for it or should we use Jin's smell? I don't know if smell is good for this case. We're in luck. I found a long shovel in the darkness. Obtain a long shovel. Sure, seems like they put it there on purpose. Yeah, this would be good to break their armor. That is a little awkward, but let's use it. Doubt it's a trap. A monster turned toward Hayasaka. Found you, found you. Haha, <laughs> I've got a bad feeling. Shovel, a tool for digging earth. It's heavy, so it could be swung like a weapon. Can I swing it? I'm fine with fighting if, it's, uh, if I've got a weapon, okay? Let's do it. Oh boy. There, that'll do, right? 
destroying a helmet with a shovel. You're really something. I mean, my arm is tingling a little. Yeah, you look like a... I don't know why, but I feel like you're like a baseball player. <laughs> uh, even though Kitar is supposed to be the baseball player, but doesn't remind me of a baseball player at all. The monster is laughing furiously. I mean, it makes no sense for me to think of her as a baseball player, but I don't know why. The monster attacked Hayasaka. This is no joke! Hayasaka ducked behind uh, behind others to escape danger. Good job, me. Alright. Some calls for smoking with my fist, right? But the red stuff is like electrified, right? Let's sniff around to check for stuff now. Grab my body and give it a hurl. What should I do? Okay. Jin, let's see what you can find. Because I don't know how I feel about electrified stuff. There's a flaming stick on your wall, meow. A wall torch? Chain a flaming stick. Hmm, not sure about using this as a weapon, but maybe you could burn... Uh, maybe you could burn it if you got close to, to it and found a good opportunity. You're kind of violent, Wolf. Monsters staring at Anzu. You. You. What? You're creepy. Okay, so I can't select Anzu. Interesting, yeah, Onsu has that face of a, um, Tenko. Something like this calls for smoking my fist, right? Flaming stick, a wall mounted torch, this should burn anything flammable. Tool for digging the earth, it's heavy, could be swung like a weapon. I can observe, save, let time pass. He wants to hurl it. He wants to punch it. Alright, I guess we can try hurling it, but this doesn't sound safe at all. Alright, destroy the armor that was protecting its body. Not bad at all, pro wrestler old timer. I'm a baseball playing young timer. Now think about our next plan already. Oh, so he's not electrified anymore. Huh? Its body color cha its body changed color. Might be our chance. Four people. The monster attacked Anzu. N no! Hey, somebody help, lend me a hand. Ah, Gitar seems dependable. How about we have him go at it again? And then he's still about the fist. Oh, okay. Got it. I'll hide in the darkness and try to trip it. Good plan, right? Yeah, I don't know about that. Hmm, maybe I can burn it with the torch if I find an opportunity. Who knows? I feel like that is a safe bet. Hand me the shuffle. Uh, I'll find a weak spot and knock it down. I feel like fire's gotta be the right bet, because we already used the shovel. Puzzling good in the neighborhood? The monster is wary of the fire. No openings. Hard to even risk the risk when there's no chance of victory. Come on, can't you just charge in there? You're such a weakling. I don't intend to argue with you. Monsters grappling with Anzu. Stop, stop it! Okay, I'm gonna help. Wow, that was loud. Sarah grabbed the, the monster. No, no good, it's too strong. It'll just throw me off. Please hang on! The monster broke out of the hold. Ah, Kitaro seems dependable. Why not have him go at it again? Okay, you didn't find an opportunity last time. I think we just gotta mess with it until we can get it. The monster is unfazed. What? Not even gonna flinch after getting a faithful of my right strength? What kind of badly made doll? Ain't, ain't it the time for hurting, I guess. The monster lifted up Anzu and stuffed her in a coffin. Hey, let me out! Burn it, please. The monster is wary of fire. Why don't you want to charge in? The monster is headed toward the carmen at coffin and raised its arms. Hold on, what are you? What? Let me out!
What? What are you thinking? Locking me in here? S stop! It's gonna break the coffin! So cramped I can't open it! No, I'm gonna be crushed! No! We're very bad at fighting. The coffin has been destroyed with a terrifying might. Shoot. Hey, Anzu, are you for real? This is bad. Will come for us next? The monster stood up and walked into the darkness. Ah, it won't attack anymore, Wolf. It went off in the same direction as Midori. It was saying it was satisfied having destroyed one of us. Huh, really? Huh, what happened to her? I could tell you just... Uh, can't you tell, just looking at the coffin? She's been scrapped. She's dead. Ah, oh, poor Anzu. I think we could have saved her, maybe. If we were, like, more strategic about it. I don't know. She really seemed to be suffering. <sighs> what the heck was that monster? An obstructor. A doll meant to impede our objective. And who will come after our lives, apparently. That ain't funny. After all this, suddenly we gotta use violence? That's why we're cooperating, right? Our only advantage is numbers. Putting our heads together and sometimes having to risk, uh, having someone risk themselves. That's all we can do. Sheesh. Let's work together, Sarah. Can I really trust you? I mean, we don't want to die either. So Rico doesn't have a partner right now, right? Hmm. Seeing that happen to Anzu right in front of me, I'm still distraught, honestly. We know the fear of death better than anyone. Ain't it okay to trust them? Kitaro, it's making me remember that fake Rico, Rico business. These guys ain't just artificial things either, I'm sir. They're alive. Heck, if it, heck if it ain't cruel, though. Well, I guess it's fine. The more people, the more fight we can bring. That's right. You just gotta think simple. No use spec suspecting them for now, I guess. So, uh, let's keep it up, sir. Right, same to you. Alright then, first up, let's go after Midori. So I'm guessing they'll come here whenever they kill someone. So these are basically like our lives. We basically have six different lives. And we lost our first one. Path continues past the stone monument. I'm gonna save under a third, uh, under file five now, just to keep that separate. Okay, and then I guess path continues past the stone monument. Guess we gotta proceed. Now loading. All right. Ooh, this is shrine. Interesting. What? I see some kind of gate. Not sure whether we're inside or outside anymore. It reads, When the dead assemble, the banquet shall begin. Banquet. The large gate is shut fast. Is it locked, maybe? Something here? It's a piece of paper stuck in the gate. There's a piece of paper stuck in the gate. It's got some drawings on it. Ooh, is this a floor map? Is this a floor map? So we got the coffin, this is where we are, and then this is the staircase, so this is how we got here. And then we have the gate, which brings us left and right. To the left, we can go to the hall with bathrooms. And to the right, we can go to a boxing ring. Down from there is an art gallery, it looks like. And then down from this side looks like a safe area. And then in the middle of that looks like an elevator. How generous. Never gotten anything like this before. That Midori must really feel confident we're not gonna win. That's not it. He wants us to enjoy this, Midori. Incidentally, where are we right now? Looking at the map, it looks like this is our current location. Man, though, some dicey looking rooms here. No point in getting scared. Let's make good use of this info. Right. 
maintained a floor map. Alright. I was gonna say we're at the north end, but it's not necessarily north, because it could be like flipped upside down from northward to the side, so I don't know. For all we know, we could be southeast. <laughs> yeah. Yellow posts are electrified. Can't even uh, try to hop over. Huh. Oh, okay, so we don't have to go through the shrine to get to the areas over here and here. Got it. I wonder what this place is. Also, I like how movement has like actual icons. It's pretty cool. I like it. Think it's a bathroom? Kinda shitty, meow. Don't wanna go in with. Ah, holding it is in. Uh, holding it in is bad for your health. Ah, but we don't have to go anymore. So lucky us. D don't say that stuff. Uh, don't say stuff. It's hard to respond to. You're making it awkward. Well, door is firmly shut. It, it won't open. It won't open. What do we do? Ain't that a problem? Gotta say, this room's suspicious. Interesting. Oh, so we can just teleport wherever now. That's cool. That's really good for fast travel. This looks like there's like traps in the walls. Am I the only one who sees that? Ugh, this place. What is it? It looks like the gym I used to go to. Is it just a coincidence, Mir? Probably not. Don't know. But if they're gonna make us fight another monster, they'll bring it on. I'm never gonna lose a one-on-one -on -one here. Sheesh. A lot of boxes are hot-blooded. I, uh, I was feared as the one and only co convertible of destruction. Convertible? <laughs> what a lame Elias. Get get in the ring, Renmaru. L let's get searching. Great. A hole about the size of a window. It's dark inside. I can't see anything. Same thing on this side. Huh. Interesting. We don't have like the kaiji ability to see what we have to look at. There are posts in the four corners. It looks like they're lit from within. Uh, the floor of the ring is sturdy. Nothing suspicious here. Huh. Nothing about the lights. Alright. There's a passage on the other side. What should I do? Let's enter. Or we're not. What? The passage? Hey, the entrance disappeared too. Battle time? We've been, we've been locked in? Something's starting. Careful, everybody. Hey, I told you the walls look like traps. Okay, let's start. Fine by me. I'll blow them away. Blow them all away. Okay. Whoa, the lights! I hear something. I hear something. It's coming from the walls. Guys, get up on the mat. And I really like turning off the lights here. Ooh, is that magma? Yeah. What the heck? What is this? There's liquid pouring from the windows. It's magma, Wolf. We're gonna be melting now. Yeah, it's magma. You gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be a monster. What are we gonna do about this? Grab an electrical cord. Seems like your forte, Sarah. Huh? Just take a look around the room. Use your shop eyes to identify anything suspicious. Anything suspicious? Then let your friendly policeman and company be at your arms and legs to solve this puzzle. Understood, I'll try. All right, this is fun. So there's like different kind of nego uh, negotiations that we have to take place here. That have to take place. Liquid is streaming forcefully from beneath the forcefully beneath the ring. All right. <clears throat> there's a strange shadow on the ground. What's the shadow? Is there something on the ceiling? Let's inspect this cord first. It's a white sort of white cord. A cord. It's connected to the black left post. Inspect. What? The black left post has some sort of has some power cord on it. Hey, did you find something? Perfect. Renmaru, check that cord power cord over there. Whoa, the post lit up. I see, it's being lit from within. The other posts are going the same way. Now this is kinda suspicious. That's true. Oh, do we have to make it some sort of design? All right, I'll check this. I'll check this post some more, Sarah. You can think of a plan in the meantime. The height of the liquid is slowly rising. Darn! It keeps rising. What should we do? There's a strange shadow on the ground. 
What's this shadow? Is there something on the ceiling? I don't imagine this will help us, but we can find out. Maybe we can cut the ropes. Maybe that'll help us. The fact there's a shadow here means there's something blocking the lights. I'll take a look at the ceiling. It's a very traditional light knife. There's a knife stuck to the ceiling. Why is there a knife there, Meow? Could it, it, it could be necessary to solve the puzzle. That's possible. Hmm, gotta think of a way to get it. Guess Mr. Pleatman had a pitch in. Okay. The height of the liquid is slowly rising. It's okay, sir. I know you can solve this room. But not anything that you think is suspicious. Only you can get everybody moving. Uh, liquid continues to pour in. If that's magma, like Jin says, it should still uh, give off light in the dark. Ah. If this were magma, this room would surely be a lot hotter right now. I'll investigate what it really is. What is it? This isn't magma at all. Say what? You for real, Sarah? I'm not sure what it actually is, but it seems no problem if you touch it. So even if the level rises, it should be fine, unless we drown. Hold on a sec. Humans might be fine, but what about us? True. Are we properly waterproofed? Ah, uh, could be bad if we—it's an electric. Sh if there's an electric shock. Same funny. We'll be, we'll be, uh, we'll be done for too. Crud. Got to think of something we can do. The liquid is creeping onto the stage. The level's risen. This is bad. Darn it. A lot of suspicious things, but not a lot that's helpful. So, there's a switch on the back of the left post. Should I press it? So, there's a switch. Knife on the ceiling. Might be able to jump. Uh, uh, might be able to reach it if I jump off the ropes. I don't see how that's helpful. It's liquid safe. I'm gonna drip in and, see, and check the walls for anything weird. I know, I'll take the floor real close for I'm sure everything's helpful, but we don't have enough time to do everything. So there's a switch on the- oh yeah, we already looked at that. And then- I know, this is a boxing ring, right? Maybe if we took it out together, the puzzle will get solved. I don't think so. Press the switch. It looks like pressing the switch, you can change the color of the post. What color should he set it to? Ah, uh, it's a color puzzle. There's blue. It goes yellow, green. Green. This is confusing. What are the colors for? Yeah, I found the colors weird. But I don't know what the colors represent. I would maybe set it to yellow. Is this color right? Maybe. Thanks, Armaro. That'll do. Roger that. Shoot! The heck can we do about this? So I can change the colors of the four. Ah, uh, so confusing. What is the pattern that we gotta make? I can make it blue, green, and red, like so that the top row is matched. But will that do anything for us? it won't match the other rows. Colorful ropes around the ring. Ah, huh, do these colors mean anything? Maybe I should try touching them. Different colored ropes hint to the puzzle? I'll grab them and investigate. These ropes, some of them are soft, some of them are hard. There's two types of ropes now? Why, Woof? Not sure about that part. Hmm, could there be something inside then? But there's no difference in what they contain. How about for now we cut the ropes and see what we can check what's inside them. It's possible with the proper tool. High the liquid is slowly rising. There must be a hint to solving this in, this in the room. Okay, get the knife, please. Try not to cut yourself. Yep, got you, a got you now, knife. You seriously caught it that way? No, that's impressive. Flying that far with, with these elastic ropes? Oh yeah, it's 
far as my expectations, they seem pretty bouncy. Now the question is how to use that knife. Gotta have, gotta have an epiphany. Sarah found this precious item for us after all. Yes. No, it's after my feet off. Soft ropes, I'll use the knife to cut through like this, those like bread. Go it, go ahead, let's do it. I sliced it up nicely, Sarah. She looks lack, uh, lackadaisical, but she works fast. Huh? The four posts got colored in. Seems like the ropes themselves are power cords, and cutting them, uh, uh, cutting extraneous cords made them light up the proper colors. I don't get it. What does this mean? It means we're probably getting closer to the solution to this puzzle. Exactly. These posts in this puzzle, the colors must be hiding the answer. Did we solve it? Bravo, Sarah. So I guess there was multiple solutions. I think you would also get the correct solution if you just lit up all of the lamp posts to the right one immediately. But we found like another way to get to the solution, I think. If I'm like predicting correctly. Bravo, Sarah. Is everybody okay? Hold on a second, where's Hinako? You don't mean... Huh? I'm right here. Don't startle me. If you go too far away, your collar will explode, you know? <sighs> no need to be that cautious. The paired collars can go as far as a room apart. Oh, and where'd you hear that? Uh, didn't Midori tell you? Hey, I was wondering, is there a difference in which e in, in, in what info you, uh, each of you guys got? Oh, come to think of it. Why would that be? Midori talked, uh, Midori talked to us all together. Maybe there's what, uh, maybe there's what he told you. Oh, maybe that's what he told you. But also memories were, uh, you were programmed with. Yeah, pre-programmed, yeah. Maybe you were sent, uh, special knowledge separate from your shared info. S special knowledge. You serious? Well, don't hide it, darn it. Tell us! I mean, how do we know what's special info? Right, it's best to pretend we don't know for now. Each of us has been given a unique value. That's how it is, right, Sarah-senpai? A unique value? Hinako, we aren't viewing you of calculating eye like that. We're all victims, aren't we? Human or doll, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Your master's pretty cool, eh? Master, wow. Anyway. How long are we planning on sticking around in this room? Yeah, not really good room to rest in. Let's move. Alright, to the back room please now. Pass on the back side. Enter. Yay, alright. We're through. How much time? Ooh, oh no, no, no. I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I saw... Hmm, that's uncomfortable. Oh, and that's what happened to uh, Kana's sister, I'm assuming? Happened to me when I messed up <laughs> on the first game. I mean, when I totally didn't mess up, I'm just, how would I mess up the first trial of this whole game? I mean, it's, it's not like I would do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, I think we're going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to... the, the painting. Why? Just... Poor... For now. <laughs> all right. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Do all those subscribing and comment stuff that all the other YouTubers ask you to do. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.